product of three consecutive numbers by two-digit number whose sum is nine. Proponents, Calixter Dali and Okora Joan C. Content, Introduction, Problem and its Scope, Conjecture, Methodology, Findings, and Conclusion. Introduction, We are surrounded by math every day. It's a way of looking at things, a way to clarify ideas and solve problems. A natural framework that serves as the foundation for a modern society. It also shows how many different courses are offered that deals with issues, problems, and equations. The elegance of mathematics stimulates creative thought, advancement, and even the invention of new useful equations. According to CIPI 2012, Recognizing number patterns is an important problem-solving skill. If you recognize a pattern when looking systematically at specific examples, that pattern can then be used to make things easier when needing a solution to a problem. Mathematics is especially useful when it helps you to predict or make educated guesses. Thus, we are able to make many common assumptions based on recurring patterns. Let's look at our first pattern below to see what we can discover. This investigation is being conducted in order to discover an alternative formula or the ECS steps for calculating the product of three consecutive digits by a two-digit number whose sum is nine. This investigation helps students, especially in multiplying, where they can easily multiply these numbers by just using mental cal calculations. So the researchers came up with this alternative solution wherein it makes a three-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number whose sum is nine, a lot easier than the traditional one, especially if the steps are being mastered. Problem and its scope. Most of the students struggled with multiplying three or more digits because of the steps that usually wasted their time. So, the researcher came up with an alternative method that can be useful and helpful to students, especially when multiplying three consecutive digits by a two-digit numbers whose sum is nine, which is a lot more easier than the traditional method. This study is focused on and limited to multiplying three consecutive digits by two-digit numbers whose sum is nine, mentally starting from 18 to 81. Conjecture. The investigation conducted by the researchers began by multiplying the three consecutive digits by two-digit number whose sum is nine, using mental calculations. The researchers used a three-step method to solve for the product of the two numbers. The first step is to obtain the hundreds digit of the product, which is the tens digit of the multiplier plus one. The second step is to obtain the thousand digit of the product, which is the hundred digit of the product multiplied by the hundred digits of the multiplicand. And lastly, to obtain the tens and unit digits of the product which are 9 minus the last digit of the multiplicand plus 1 times the 100 digits of the product. Methodology Case 1 Multiplying 3 consecutive numbers by a 2 digit number whose sum is 9. If the product result is 4 digit. Example 1 123 times 36 equals 4428 Note, if the result of step 3 is 1 digit, only always put 0 before it. Step 1. Obtain the hundreds digit of the product. Tens digit of the multiplier plus 1. 3 plus 1. Step 2. Obtain the thousands digit of the product. Tens digit of the multiplier plus 1 times the hundreds digit of the multiplicand. For example, 1 times the quantity of 3 plus 1 equals 4. Step 3. Obtain the tens and unit digit of the product. 9 minus the last digit of the multiplicand plus 1 times the hundreds digit of the product. That is equal to the unit and tens digit of the product. 9 minus 3 plus 1 equals 7. 
So, 7 times 4 equals 28. Example 2. 234 times 27 equals 6,318. Note, if the result of step 3 is one digit only, always put 0 before it. Step 1. Obtain the hundredth digit of the product. Tens digit of the multiplier plus 1. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Step 2. Obtain the thousands digit of the product. Tens digit of the multiplier plus 1 times the hundredth digit of the multiplicand. 2 times 3 equals 6. Step 3. Obtain the tens and unit digit of the product. 9 minus the last digit of the multiplicand plus 1 times the hundredth digit of the product. That is equal to the unit and tens digit of the product. 9 minus 4 plus 1 equals 6. 6 times 3 equals 18. Case 2. Multiplying three consecutive numbers by two-digit number whose sum is 9 if the product result is five-digit. Example number 3. 456 times 54 equals 24,624. Note, if the result of step 3 is one digit only, always put zero before it. Step 1. Obtain the hundreds digit of the product. So, tens digit of the multiplier plus 1. So, 5 plus 1 equals 6. So, the hundreds digit of the product is 6. Step 2. Obtain the ten thousands and thousands digit of the product. Hundred digit of the product times the hundred digit of the multiplicand. So, 4 times 6 is equal to 24. So, the ten thousands and thousands digit of the product is 24. Step 3. Of, obtain the tens and unit digit of the product. 9 minus the last digit of the multiplicand plus 1 times the hundred digit of the product. That is equal to the unit and tens digit of the product. So, 9 minus 6 is equal to 3 plus 1 equals 4. So, 4 times 6 is equal to 24. So, the tens and unit digit of the product is 24. Example number 4. 789 times 81 equals 63,909. Step 1. Obtain the hundreds digit of the product. Tens digit of the multiplier plus 1. So, 8 plus 1 equals 9. Step 2. Obtain the tens and thousand digit of the product. Hundreds digit of the product times the hundred digit of the multiplicand. So, 7 times 9 equals 63. So, the ten thousands and thousands digit of the products is 63. Step 3. Obtain the tens and unit digit of the product. 9 minus the last digit of the multiplicand plus 1 times the hundred digit of the product that is equal to the unit and tens digit of the product. 9 minus 9 equals 0 plus 1 equals 1. So 1 times 9 equals 9. If the result of step 3 is one digit only, always put 0 before it. Explore. Let's try the traditional method using three consecutive digit multiplied by a two-digit number whose sum is 9, and compare it with the traditional method in multiplying numbers. Traditional method 234 times 27 equals 4 times 7 equals 28. Bring down 8 carry 2. 3 times 7 equals 21. 21 plus 2 equals 23. Bring down 3 carry 2. 2 times 7 equals 14. 14 times 2 equals 16. 4 times 2 equals 8. 3 times 2 equals 6. 2 times 2 equals 4. 1,638 plus 468 equals 6,318. For alternative method, 234 times 27. So, step 1, obtain the 100 digit of the product. So, we get the tens digit of the multiplier 
plus 1 which is constant. So, equals 3. Second, obtain the 10 thousands and thousand digit of the product. Get the 100 digit of the product times the 100 digit of the multiplicand. So, 2 times 3 equals 6. And lastly, obtain the tens and unit digit of the product. 9 minus the last digit of the multiplicand plus 1 times 100 digit of the product that is equal to the unit and tens digit of the product. So, 9 constant minus 4 plus 1 equals 6. So, 234 times 27 equals 6,318 Findings, limitations This pattern is applicable only for multiplying 3 consecutive digits by 2 digit number whose sum is 9 starting from 18 to 81 Conclusion We can multiply 3 consecutive digit by 2 digit number whose sum is 9 mentally starting from 18 to 81 in another and easiest method by following the steps of the alternative solution. Step 1. Obtain the hundreds digit of the product. Step 2. Obtain the thousands digit of the product. And step 3. Obtain the tens and unit digit of the product. References and definition of terms. Definition of terms. D plus 1 equals B. D is the tenth digit of the multiplier and 1 is constant, then B is the hundred digit of the product. A times B equals C, which is A is, is the hundred digit of the multiplicand, B is the hundred digit of the product, then C is the thousand digit of the product. 9 minus F plus 1 equals G. 9 is constant, F is the unit digit of the multiplicand, and 1 is constant. G times B equals H. G is the result of step 3, B is the 100 digit of the product, and H is the 1's and 10's digit of the product.